I need to call up this girl, Tracy. Pick, pick, pick. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Tracy? I'm okay. What's up? You're ready, the village. What? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You mean Charles is already there? And the wife? <laughs> yes. Agnes is there as well. Oh my God, it's going to be lovely. Mm -hmm. Pizza's okay. Oh my God, it's going to be party time. <laughs> I'm already loving this. Yes, yes. I can imagine the mood ready. Wow, it's going to be fun. I mean, this is going to be the best Christmas ever. I just can't wait to get there. Yeah. No, I'm okay. The kids are fine. Actually, we are done with the, the packing. We are done with the shopping. We are just waiting for months to come and pick us up. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. Okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> Take good care of yourself. Yeah, love you. Yes. Wow. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. The only time that we get to spend time with our loved ones. Yeah. I mean, when the, when the year begins, we all have to go to work. Some of us work abroad. Some of us work in different towns. Some of us work in different cities. But Christmas time is when we bond as a family. Yes. Hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pam Oil from the Pam Oil as UG, And you are most welcome. I want to start by thanking those of you who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the love. And in case you are watching this pretty face for the very first time, <laughs> you are most welcome. All you need to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to tap on that bell notification such that each time that I share a video here, you will be notified just like that. Yes. Well, it's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. It's all about love. It's all about sharing. It's all about party. Normally, that is the mode in the past years. But this time around, with this COVID-19 pandemic, things are totally different. Well, all in all, we thank God that we are alive. That is the most important thing. So our topic today is uh, 2020 Xmas do's and don'ts. Yes. Well, they say knowledge is power. And trust you me, if you're going to take whatever we're going to share today seriously and put it into practice it will definitely do good for you now i've come up with a few do's and a few don'ts and um like i said earlier on normally christmas is a time to be together yeah christmas is a time to party christmas is a time to spread love christmas is a time to show time i mean for those who are loaded especially the guys who work abroad <laughs> This is the time that they normally come back home and they want to show how rich they are, which is not bad. I mean, life is too short. Everyone is free to do what makes them happy. Like I said, we are going to start by looking at some do's for this 2020 Xmas. Number one is stay at home. Yes, I said stay at home. For the third time, I'm saying our point number one is stay at home. <laughs> now, to those of you who still don't believe that COVID is in Uganda, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear friend, whoever you, you refer me to, yeah? If you have not yet believed that COVID is in Uganda, please take it from me. You know, some of you guys think that it's political. I mean, I'm no politician. COVID is real. People are dying every single day. And the only way you can avoid COVID is by sitting at home. Because number one, you can never know who has COVID. You can never tell. You can only be safe if you are at your home. I mean, I'm not saying that we shouldn't work. Of course, we've been working. But now that we have this break of Christmas, guys, Please stay at home. 
those of you who are planning to go to the village missing christmas in the village one time is not going to kill you remember with covid you're either a carrier or you're going to contract it yeah so just in case you have this covid and you travel to the village remember most of our parents in the village are already elderly so if you're going to take your covid home you're going to kill your own relatives and if you don't have covid then in the process of you traveling to and fro you're likely to contract covid so guys please stay at home and for those of you who are rich you could you, you, you could probably be saying, hey, I'm rich, so I'm going to go to these expensive places that have few people. My dear, COVID is everywhere. You can never know who has it. So please stay at home. Yeah, that is a point number one. Point number two is spread the love to your loved ones. Yeah. Um, now that we've agreed that uh, we shouldn't travel, that doesn't mean that you should not spread love to your loved ones your family members all you can do is send them some money this christmas yes they need money so you're not traveling that already means that you're saving some transport so what you can do is send them transport that is good enough and also when we say that spread love it doesn't mean that we should only help our relatives we also have uh probably neighbors or there are people who can't afford a meal a day for example now most of us cook a lot of food on Christmas. If you got some little food and shared with someone out there who cannot afford a meal, that would definitely be, definitely be a blessing to you. So please spread the love to your family members and spread the love to also other people who are not related to you. But as long as they are in need, please spread your love to them and you will be blessed. That is our point number two. Point number three is use visible communication channels, yeah? Like we've said, Christmas is normally a, a time that we love being together as a family, yeah? So now that we are not able to be together physically, we there, there, there are means of communication that can make us feel a little together, yeah? Um, uh, the best example I could use is Zoom call, yeah? If you are, let's say, 10 family members, you can still get together with zoom yeah so there are communication channels that we can use to help us feel together and united as a family if you cannot afford zoom call at least most of us have mobile phones yeah so you can call your loved ones talk to them and somehow you'll make you, somehow it will make you feel like you are together as a family remember we are trying to look at some of the do's of 2020 xmas what are those things that you can do this christmas and won't harm you in any way that has been our point number three point number four is watching a holiday movie remember we've always been um, used to the culture of going out most of our christmas times we either go out or we are spending time with our loved ones but now that you're going to be stuck with strictly your family members the other way that you can um the other way that you can spice your day is by watching a holiday movie yeah that is our point number four point number five is have a talk time yeah it helps this christmas definitely we have lots of time we are not meeting friends it's only us so you can sp spend this time to talk to your kids probably tell them a story probably tell them about their grandparents probably tell them about how you met the mother or how you mommy met the dad yeah something like that spend some time interacting telling stories it will help you this christmas that has been our point number five and lastly but not least our point number six is reflect on 2020 recap and also think or start planning on your 2021 resolutions that is very very important yeah after you've spent time with the kids after you've had uh what to eat after you've you've um had great time you can as well take some time to reflect on 2020 as you also make your resolution for 2021 those have been our do points now we are going to look at the don'ts of 2020 xmas yes 
yeah we are going to look at the don'ts of 2021 xmas i mean what are some of the things that you shouldn't do this time around number one is avoid traveling yes guys <laughs> avoid traveling i know i've already said in the do's that that one but even in the don'ts i'm saying do not travel i mean maybe maybe if you really 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 need to travel and you know you're going to keep it safe just maybe just maybe else please avoid traveling that is a point number one point number two is avoid overspending now this is a very important point guys very important avoid overspending now i know it's our culture that during christmas is when we buy very expensive clothes is when we we dash money around to show how wealthy we are it's the time that we shop even things that are not necessary i mean some things may even be necessary but is it really really that necessary this time around else please avoid overspending i urge you to save yes by the way, none of us can predict how things are going to be in 2021. None of us. Of course, it's all our desire that things become much, much better than 2020. But we cannot predict. So all we need to do, or all we must do, is save the little we have. Guys, there's no surety that you're going to have that job in 2021. You never know what is going to happen. Um, or if you're running your own business there's no surety that things are going to be the way they are this time around so please save your money and avoid over spending that is our point number two point number three is um avoid fights and disagreements yeah remember we've said this time around we are not traveling to the village we are not meeting friends so we are home so you don't want to spend um christmas with someone who is moody so Avoid fights and let's enjoy a Christmas. So happy, please be nice to wifey. And wifey, please be nice to happy. Of course, there are always misunderstandings, but hey, you can apologize and continue living life normally. Yes, that is a point number three. Point number four is avoid overloading yourself with work, office work, I mean, yeah, or business, yeah, whatever you do for a living. This is a time for relaxation this is a time to spend time with your family so just because you are not moving out doesn't mean that you should engage yourself in work no 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 okay once in a while maybe for 30 minutes or one hour at most else please avoid work during this christmas holiday spend time with your family members yes let your wife also enjoy you let your kids enjoy you let your hubby enjoy you yes am i speaking to someone <laughs> Yeah, that has been our point number four. Point number five is um, avoid spending mob time on social media. This is very important. You're having a chat. Someone is on. Someone is WhatsApping. The other person is on WhatsApp. Rather, the other person is on Facebook. This time around, guys, please behave. Behave. Let's let's be with family. Let's avoid spending much time on social media. But of course, once in a while, you can. Go to your YouTube and check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, guys, seriously. I mean, most of my, by the way, most of my topics, most of the topics that I show on my YouTube channel are family related. Yeah. They're, they're things that you can sit down with your kids and watch. Yeah. Like most times I talk about family. I talk about relationships. I talk about kids, uh, how we should bring up our kids. So, hey, once in a while, you can spend a few a few of your time spend uh, a few of your time watching my youtube channel else do not go on social media <laughs> yeah that is our point number five and lastly but not least our point number six is avoid inviting people at home another important point guys and when i say avoid uh, when i say avoid inviting people i mean everyone whether it's your relative whether it's your friend whether it's your colleague like I said earlier on, guys, you can never know, you can never tell, you can never predict who has COVID and who does not have. So, guys, for the very first time, I know we have the culture of being together during Christmas, calling our friends, calling our relatives. Like, some of us rarely go to the village, yeah, but at least we call our relatives that are within where we stay. But, guys, this time around, please, 
do not invite people like i said earlier you can share i'm not saying don't share you can share with them but please avoid inviting people at home we need to be safe guys and this is the only way well that has been all the time we had for i've enjoyed sharing this topic and i hope i really hope that guys you will put this in practice and trust you me it will be beneficial to you once again my name is palm oil from the palm oil as UG, and i'm wishing you a very very merry christmas i want to sing for you something small yes i wish you a merry christmas i wish you a merry christmas i wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year <laughs> merry christmas guys keep safe keep loving one another and don't forget to pray i love you guys bye, -bye. <laughs>